Hello YouTube, I'm uh, here on my HP Pavilion DB6809WM from, no, not Windows Vista, but uh, like I do have on my ThinkPad, Windows 7 Beta 1. And, well, let me tell you a story. I, I got this computer, this uh, Pavilion, HP Pavilion, about, let's say, six months ago, and it's January of 09 now. So around July, maybe June or July of 08, six, seven months, and it came with Windows Vista Home Premium. At the time, I really liked Windows Vista, so I upgraded it to, or I formatted it, reinstalled, or installed, Ultimate, 32-bit, then I went to 64-bit, and then back to 32, and right now on a different partition, I have 64-bit Windows Vista Ultimate installed. More about the 64, or the 32-bit to 64-bit switch. Um, check out my channel. I've got a couple videos about that. Um, I, I will run over the specs of this computer real quick here. Quickly. It came with 3 gig of DDR2 667 megahertz RAM. I upgraded it to 4 gig for uh, Ultimate 32 or uh, Ultimate 64 bit, Windows Vista Ultimate 64 bit, and 64 bit still only uses 3 gig. I can't figure out why it doesn't use all 4. The two, they're two exactly the same, both same manufacturer, clock speed, um, everything. They're exactly the same RAM chips. BIOS is 4 gig. I mean, Windows reports 4 gig, but only 3 is actually in use. But whatever, 3 is more than enough for what I do. If you notice, it, it's on 30% right now, so that's fine. But anyways, this is not a review of Windows 7. If you want a review of Windows 7, I don't think I've uploaded my Beta 1 review, but check out my channel. I think I have 6956 and 6801 reviews, and it's really, really, really nice. Anyways, got off topic there. Sorry. Back to uh, specs. Yeah, 4 gig of RAM, 120 gig SATA serial ATA hard drive at 5400 RPM. AMD Tyrion 64X2, so with the dual core mobile technology TL60 processor, um, it's 2 gigahertz per core, and it is only a one meg cache. I'm not an AMD fan, I always go with Intel, but this was a gift, and it's 4 gigahertz, it's a 4 gigahertz laptop, so I am happy with it. It's, I use my ThinkPad more, I have a ThinkPad, if you check my channel, you can see that. In Windows Vista, this uh, machine was rated a 3.0. In Windows 7, it's uh, now rated a 3.2. My processor went down 0.3, my RAM went down 0.4, my graphics went up 0.4, my gaming graphics went up 0.2, and my primary hard disk stayed the same at a 5.1. In Windows Vista, the WEI, or Windows Experience Index, would rate your computer from 1.0 to 5.9. Here we are in Windows 7, it rates it from 1.0 to 7.9, because they're expecting better hardware. So I did get a little better of a score. On my ThinkPad, I usually get a 3.1, 3.1, and now I get a 3.0, because of my hard drive. Everything else went up, yet my hard drive went from a 5.6 to a 3.0. I can't figure that out. I've run hard drive diagnostics in the BIOS. I've tried third-party apps to do hard drive diagnostics. It's not the drive, it's something wrong with Windows 7. I put this on, I have a, a uh, Dell Dimension desktop, I put it on there, the hard drive went from a 5.9 to a uh, 1.9. I can't figure out what they changed in the hard disk rating as well. But here it stayed the same. I don't know, it's still a beta, beta software is flaky anyways. Um, but anyways, Windows 7 runs really, really well on this computer. Uh, I was surprised. I had 64-bit build 6801 on here, and it did not work well at all. Everything was very, very, very flaky. Nothing was right. Crashed. Like, I, I'd run CCleaner. CCleaner is the software that stands for Crap Cleaner. It cleans all the crap out of your computer. I'd scan for issues. I'll probably get a couple here. Three. There's three of them. Okay, then I'd fix them, like this. And then I'd go and I'd scan it again, like that, and then it would say... It'd find those same three issues, and I'd keep doing it, and scanning and scanning and scanning, and it'd keep finding that. Most annoying thing in the world. Um, whatever, though. So I'm in 32-bit right now. It's great. If you guys have this laptop, it's going to run Windows 7 really well. Everything works. All the drivers work. Ethernet, wireless sound, audio, video. Everything is good. So when that comes out, I do highly recommend upgrading. So thanks for watching.